Alright, welcome back to me not knowing what I'm doing in Super Auto Pets. Today I thought I would try out some snail strats. So it turns out, snails are super good. Also, this is just the previous run that I won, but why would I show you a run that I won when I can show you one that I lost, you know? That takes some real confidence. But I thought this run was much more interesting because that run, like, I didn't get too many snails, and it turns out, it's a lot of RNG to just roll for snails and kind of hope that's uh, good enough for your scaling. But, if you don't know, when you lose a round, you can buy a snail and it gives your entire team plus two plus one. Well, besides the snail, so it gives the four other units plus two plus one. This ability also levels up, so if you get three snails, then the third one that you buy will give plus four plus two. If you get a level three snail on your team, that's plus six plus three. And that's pretty insane for a tier three especially. I understand kind of the point of snails, where it's supposed to be kind of a comeback mechanic. So if you're playing in like a versus match and you really like messed up your rolls or just got really unlucky and you lose, then you can come back because the snail is going to buff your entire team and things are going to go pretty well for you from then on. But there's a problem with this because the other person can also buy snails and it turns out you can just keep snails frozen in your shop for a very long time and also you can even keep snails frozen, not frozen, just in your team. So that's kind of the strat that's been going on in 1v1s, if you guys don't know, where you kind of just keep snails, you go Dodo Rooster, you can see I actually went Dodo in this game specifically, because Dodo and Rooster both benefit a lot from extra attack. And snails get plus two plus one, so they certainly favor the things that have higher attack. So Dodo Rooster just goes extremely well with it. Plus, you know, the Rooster is gonna spawn a lot of chicks with extra attack, so it's just overall a pretty good unit. It's not as good as it was before it was nerfed, but it's still strong enough and uh, worth going for, especially with these snail strats. I would say that these are not quite as strong as in Arena. The reason why this is so good in 1v1s is because they're kind of short. That 1v1s typically end in like 11, 12 rounds, somewhere around there. So you don't actually have time to really get going with a lot of scaling. And what's really good in the mean game, uh, mid game to just like kind of boost you forward is just snail scaling. Again, you go with Dodo, it also works pretty well with Ox because you have free melon armor, so you're getting a pretty good attack buff on this Ox, but most of the time you end up going with Dodo Rooster. So you can see here, I'm freezing a snail in the shop, so it doesn't even matter if I lose this round because that's what I want, you know? It's all planned for the future, where I just get a bunch of snails. There we go. And two snails already, that's gonna be plus four plus two for your entire team. And now is the fun part. It's like gambling. You just roll for snails. And if you see the shiny thing, then you're happy. You get that little hit of dopamine. And uh, if not, then you just become sad. And it's like, wow, this game sucks. Why am I playing this? Uh, it's all RNG. Not enough skill. But anyway, so the whole strat of rolling for snails is pretty stupid. I'm kind of against it, and I hope that they nerf snails in the future. It's... Uh, it's not a fun thing to go for. Like I said, it's so much RNG, and you really don't want your game to be decided by just like whoever gets luckier. You want there to be some amount of skill and strategy involved in this game, right? And it's not just going to be like whoever gets more snails wins, because that's the person who has just way better stats. Luckily, in this round, I got a rooster, so we got the perfect dodo rooster strategy. Even have an ox and a swan, which is perfect for the extra gold for snail rolling. And, like, if you manage to get four snails frozen in the shop, you can buy all of them at once. So that would be extremely nice. Uh, you can see, I actually, I don't know whether to buy the snail now or not, but, I, like, looking at this team, it's really good for round eight. And there's pretty much no way I'm gonna lose. Well, not no way, but, like, very low chance that I'm gonna lose. So even just buying that snail is completely fine. It's, uh, not really actually that important. I would say if you want to get the snail to level one and a half, then that's probably worth buying because then, of course, you can buy it and level it up the next turn. But there, I kind of just wasted that buff. Oh, well. Or the, at least the potential buff. So at this point, I'm just like, okay, let's just roll for snails. And, uh, I actually, you also get the chance to get roosters and level that up, which is pretty nice, but I'm just going to continue rolling for snails. I don't know what the actual odds are of finding a snail in the shop. It's not, like, super great. Obviously, it go gets lower as time goes on, but on turns like 5 and 6, if you lose a round, which you can do on purpose, I mentioned this kind of earlier on in another video, but if you have 15 hearts, you purposely throw round 4 because you lose 2, and it's pretty much the same thing. 
uh, here, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, you know what? I want to go double snail. <laughs> I don't know why, and I also just did not buy the roosters because I was committing so much to the snails for whatever reason. This was not the right play. If you actually want to win, you keep all that stuff in your team, and you don't go with double snails. But I wanted to meme it up as much as possible. And double snails, what could not possibly go wrong? Snails are just known for being great stats, right? And here, even though we lose, we win, really. And look what I got. Oh my god. Three snails with the level two, which means I get the level three snail plus six plus three for four units. Just unbelievable amount of stats. And suddenly our team went from being like, okay, not very good to suddenly, what, we have almost a 50 attack rooster already? I didn't even look at what turn it is, but it is very early to have a 43 attack rooster that punches through mount armor. Also spawns a bunch of chicks. Yeah, that was just a pretty great team for a turn 11. It, it can be better, like, you've, I've gotten even more snails than this, but unfortunately not recorded. Also, it was not a double snail strat, and look at this, three more snails. What could possibly go wrong? Even if I lose, we're gonna get such a huge stat buff. The only other problem with snails is that the scaling does fall off eventually. Uh, like, the plus six plus three, it sounds amazing, until you realize, like, you can get that every turn with the level three T-Rex, or you can get even more stats <clears throat> Excuse me. Even more stats with just scaling with the dragon. So, unfortunately, like, well, I don't know why I'm saying unfortunately. I would say fortunately, like, snail scaling isn't gonna win you the game when it's turn like 14. Uh, I would not really recommend going for like freezing too many snails, like turn nine and above. Maybe if it's like three, I guess. Like, I don't know how long you should actually hold on, but certainly by the time it's like turn 11, I wouldn't really recommend it. Here we lose, totally fine. And now we get another, like, it's a little too bad that I didn't win that round because then I could have leveled up the snail and had three frozen in the shop and gotten a level three snail again. But instead, I just had to settle and get the level two and two thirds snail. So a little sad about that. Can't always get what you want, but the dream is still alive where we can get two level three snails and the 25 attack rooster. At this point, I could even consider it moving the dodo to somewhere else. And I was like, you know what? We have to get the two level three snails just for the thumbnail. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, all right? Don't blame me. Of course, we could have gotten a level three rooster. Well, what's the fun in getting level three rooster when you can get two level three snails? And funny enough, if you look at this around, I think that cost me. Uh, I'm not sure if we would have won with the level three rooster. Let's go ahead and see. The snail in front. Uh, the skunk and yeah we would have been one HP short it looks like anyway so not a huge deal but there we go the two level three snails ends in a nine win a little sad but you can't always win with snail strats anyway 